content creator, Kirsten Olita. I empower women entrepreneurs by sharing business solutions on my show, Business Care with Hello and welcome to Business Care with Kirsten. My name is Kirsten Olita and I am the CEO of the Business Leadership Excellence Institute where I am a master body language strategist. I am also a business strategist and I am the founder of the Women's Leadership Coalition. We are so excited to have you here today. Uh, we're always about empowering women in your role in your business and honestly in the role of your life because we know as business women, we're showing up everywhere. We're doing it all, right? We're keeping it all on our shoulders. However, we need that support. So we are here for you talking about how are you caring for your business? How are you caring for yourself? And how can we take these tips and make life awesome? So this is why we're here for this conversation. I am very excited to step into really talking about how to up level the sound of your business and get more business. Now, you know, this speaks to my heart. Not only is it music to my ears, literally, but it speaks to my heart as a retired opera singer. I, like I was saying earlier, this, I mean, this whole episode is going to be preaching to the choir because we need to think about not only what are we producing, you know, when we're talking about, okay, here, I got my flyer done and I've got that part done and I've done my, my logos and, you know, all the, the things, right? But when it comes to how are we connecting with people about our business, we really need to think about what do we sound like? Because we've all heard, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And I wanted to share with you, again, this is part of the practice of body language strategy, which is one of our divisions at the BLEI. Most people don't know just strict human to human, not just conversation, but communication, literally taking in all the things that we do when we're communicating with each other, 38% of that human to human communication is vocal tone, how you're saying it. That's almost 40%. So if you throw that 40% away and you're only showing up representing your business at a 60% rate, that's not a great rate. That's, that's not going to bring the ROI you're looking for. My child comes home with 60% on her math test. We're going to have a long conversation. She's not going to enjoy right? So what are you bringing to your conversations about your business? Not only in what you're saying it, but how you're saying it. So I want you to think, you know, the, I want to encourage you to think about, are you taking the time with your vocal tone? Are you taking the time, especially with speech rate when we get talking about business and maybe we're a little nervous because we're in a new setting or in front of new people, all of a sudden the vocal tone and it gets a little higher and then we start talking a little faster and blah, 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 and nobody's going to retain what you're saying. All right. Remember, we want to create those walking billboards. So I want you to think about, take that deep breath. By the way, when you smile, that's when you want to take that deep breath. Take your time talking. Okay. And we're going to talk to someone who literally has made a business out of this kind of business. I am very excited to have Joey Kringle on. She is a voice actor. So this is literally her gig. And she has also taken this gift and this beautiful practice that she has as a vocal artist. And she now has a podcast that she's going to share with us today. And I'm really excited to step deep into, you know, again, we're preaching to the choir with me because voices has been my life for over 30 years. Uh, I am, I'm really interested to hear what she's going to say about how focusing on the voice and the sound of your business has changed how she approaches her business, not just as it being a part of her business, but how is she related with people in her business? So we're going to have this very lovely lady come up. There she is right there. Look at that. And I love that gorgeous color on her, by the way. So let's have Jody come up from the green room. And uh, share this magic of of sound in our business. Hello, Jody. It's so good to have you. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Look at that. Just can you just hear the beauty <laughs> in the tone? And, and uh, yeah, again, my my little articulation heart's going bump 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 bump. <laughs> oh, well. So much joy happening right now. I'm so glad. <laughs> yes. I'm always like, articulate your T's, articulate, you know, all the things, right, that you and I know in this, in the biz of the yeah. voice. 
So tell me a little bit about what has been your presence practice, right? What's been that powerful presence factor in your business of how that has made a difference for you? Um, I, you know, when we were talking, you said it, it's helped to keep your business top of mind and to keep social proof that has been to really show you are an expert in your field. So tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I uh, I think all of us have to maintain what I would call a media empire. Yes. <laughs> uh, and, and part of that is, of course, demonstrating what you can do. Part of that is why I have a podcast that talks about the influence of sound in our lives. Mm. And that is the kind of thing that gives me the social proof that, you know, people reviewing the podcast or people talking about how they like my voice in the podcast or, you know, things like this, that sort of up levels my game as a voice actor. And yeah. I will say also that it's not always about articulation in voiceover. In one of those, right. it, sometimes it is, but mm -hmm. what's really interesting in this business is that you need to be authentic. And yes. being authentic is just being you or being a different version of you in a certain instance that that commercial or corporate narration is asking you to be in. Mm. And in that instance, you may or may not have good articulation. <laughs> True. True. So well, depending really, on what they're asking for, right? Exactly. exactly. Yes. So it's my job as a voice actor to give my clients what it is they actually want. And, you know, sometimes they're very aware and sometimes they're not quite so aware. And I have to just sort of, you know, let them know what might work because I've been doing this 16 years full time. So you, you kind of figure out how it works. Right. You've got <laughs> some uh, some history to work with. Just, in a, that. Little. <laughs> just a little bit. Just yeah. a little bit. Uh, you know, I, I love that you bring up that aspect of authentic because a lot of people we think about that it's a very big buzzword in business mm -hmm. and what we think about, well, it's, okay, I've, I've got to show up authentic, but most people don't relate that to the voice. Yeah, it's and true. That's a huge, huge part of it. Totally that it calming, is. that the, the factors of connection mm -hmm. are deeply, deeply rooted in the voice. You know, if we're, if we're listening to a person who's talking like this for the next hour, it's going to be like, okay, <laughs> are we done? <laughs> Don't hurt um, people's ears. <laughs> look at the time, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so again, it, it's stepping into that, looking at all the different levels of what is it to show up authentic. And mm -hmm. you're doing a beautiful job with the voice part. And I, I love, you know, I want to, I'm trying to rephrase this in my brain of, um, you know, we need to walk our talk. Yeah. But we're really talking about, we need to talk our talk. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I love getting this message out of pay attention to not just the wording, but your inflection, your tone. Sure. That completely not only changes the message, but the magnetizing to the message. Yeah. Are you actually pulling people into the message? Yeah, exactly. I would also mention that it's not only about your voice. It's also about all of the sound that you use across your entire company. So mm. we're not just talking about the voice, which is definitely a part of it. But think right. about the music that you use to come onto a stage as a public speaker. Think about yeah. the music you have for your company that's the on hold. I mean, and, and I've said this before, if you're a high-end jewelry store, you don't want 80s hairband music on your on hold. Like, <laughs> that just is not a good love, sound for you. <laughs> no. Well, and I, this relates to your business care tip of yes. pay attention to the sound of your business. Yes. Yes. Definitely. It is a huge part of branding. Mm -hmm. Huge yeah. part of branding. Uh, and we I do, think a lot of people don't pay attention oh, to it. No. <laughs> well, and they go with what's you know, what's the trend mm -hmm. instead of what's the right fit. Yes. Yeah. And it's they don't combo. understand. Uh, yes. Yes. Well, and you know, cause it's got the little star. Oh, okay. I need to use that song. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean it's a good fit for the message that you're putting out there. Yeah. Right? Either for you or the people who frequent your business. Right. So right. it's gotta be that kind of Venn diagram in the middle mm -hmm. where like yeah. it's partially you and letting people know who you are or who your company is. And then, mm -hmm. Also, who is your usual client? 
And, Absolutely. and what do they like? What do they want to hear? You know? So yes. yeah, it's, it's, it's something you really need to give some thought to. And I think a lot of people just don't, but it's what makes you care, right? Like, yes. Yeah. Turn off the sound on a movie and see how much you get out of that movie, right? Like you'll watch the movie, you'll see what's going on, mm-hmm. you you'll understand the plot, maybe, <laughs> but you Sounds just won't you won't care because right. you're not getting the emotional cues. So the mm. audio gives you the emotional cues. It gives you that, you know, the the emotional context of yeah. what it is that you're seeing. Yeah, that's the heart tugging aspect. Yes, exactly. Right? That's what tugs at the heartstrings. Yeah, and I say this all the time to my clients: think about what you're what you're training your marketplace for, mm-hmm. right? What one of the first things that that is that Pavlov's dog response is what we hear. Mm-hmm. Like we hear a certain piece of music. Oh, this is going to start happening, right? Oh, that show is coming on. People will come running from across the room because they hear a certain piece of music. Oh. Am I going to miss out on such and such because they've been trained? Yeah, that's what that is connected to, mm-hmm. right? So it's it's the the training aspect of train people to know. Once you hear this, it means this, and then once they're there, just pull on the heartstrings like crazy. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's powerful, 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 I and I love what you do. Um, you have the cutest uh one. <laughs> I absolutely love oh. <laughs> this this visual for your podcast, for the uh, audio branding podcast. So tell us a little bit about your podcast. Uh, well, the podcast is about the power of sound. So I talk a lot about how sound influences us both in our buying decisions and also in our daily lives. <laughs> and yes. uh, the story behind that little green cube guy, um, I I'm a D and D player. Okay, all right. <laughs> so I don't so know if like anyone in your audience knows what that plushie actually is. It's a gelatinous cube. <laughs> so I've I heard have that it, word, those words many times. Yeah, yeah. So I have it in my studio. My booth is right behind me. There, I have it holding my headphones. So that I brought this to the branding session because why not? <laughs> I love it. It's adorable. I'm never going to forget it for the rest of my life. Uh, yes, my kids are going to be very... so happy. <laughs> He's so cute, right? I just love it. Well, we um, I, I want to make sure we'll have a connection in the in the link sure. to make sure they can connect with your podcast because I would love for people to get more educated on this mm-hmm. to um, get more out of understanding how they're saying things. Yes. And you're such a wealth of information with that and an experience. Thank so you. thank you so much for being here today, Jody. You have been an absolute joy, not only to see, but definitely to hear today. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. All right. We're going to send you back to the green room. And isn't she lovely? Again, not only to see, she, she is lovely to see, but uh, she has that warmth in her voice. And that's what you can do when you're thinking about your tone. How are you, invi- think about the invitation that you're creating with your voice. It can't just be on paper. It has to be person to person. And remember, 38% is that human to human communication factor for what we hear in your message. Now, I'm always wanting to give tips and really help women out in how you're showing up in your business. It's one of our main conversations that we have at the Women's Leadership Coalition. We have national and international meeting uh, happening on Mondays, the third Monday of the month. That is going to be at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We would love to have you join us. It is a members only meeting, but we have wonderful speakers. I do give a training on the abundance principles. So that's where we start talking about some other kinds of tips, specifically how women lead in um, your business, when you're working with teams, all different levels of leadership. I do believe women, they their abundance factor is stepping into looking at 
How are they creating culture? How are they being courageous? And how are they learning to collaborate with other women and with other businesses? So those are conversations that we have. I would love to have you join us. I will make sure that I put, uh, it's a Women's Leadership Coalition. It's one of our divisions at the bleinstitute.com. So feel free to join us there. And we would love to have you come back again for our next episode of Business Care with Kirsten. That's going to be on every Monday morning. You can find us on all the social media channels, uh, specifically Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Thank you so much for coming today. I would love to have you join us again on Business Care with Kirsten so you can step into your greatness every day. Enjoy, and we'll see you on the next episode. You can learn more about my services and products at www.bleinstitute.com. Make sure to join me every week on the SWE Media Network YouTube channel and wherever you listen to podcasts.